Genesis chapter 8 God had a nap, and a hundred and fifty days later remembered Noah sitting in his boat floating over the mountain tops. Oh yeah, he said, and blew a wind so it would all go away. Where to? And where did it all come from? And how come the salt water of the oceans didn't mix with the fresh water and destroy all the land? No one knows, but on the seventh day of the seventh month, the boat docked on the top of Mount Ararat. On the tenth month, the mountains, the mountains were again to be seen. At the end of forty days, Noah sent a blackbird out to see what was up. The blackbird flew around. Noah sent a white bird out, and it came back. Seven days later, he sent the white bird out again, and it got an olive leaf. Why the tree wasn't dead from ten months of being underwater isn't the question. The question is, is a white bird better to have than a black bird? He sent the white bird out a week later, and it stayed out. God told Noah to come out and play. Hey, that's pretty cool, how you murdered every living creature on earth. You are the best. Yes. Noah built an altar to remind God how great he really was. He burnt some of the animals just to show God he could get into it as well. God liked the smell of burnt animals and told Noah he'd not destroy the earth any more on account man couldn't help being the way he is if he made him that way. So we'll go on till it's over.